Uh-huh. What are you gonna do? Hey, come on! I see. Hmm. Um... You got it! Are you okay with this? So then... Hm. No... What? I... I can't take it! Huh? It's because... Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. 
So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <sighs> Don't fuck with me. Okay, lift your arms up and one, two, one, two. now reach way tight in those muscles.
Other words. Hmm. However,
But... Yeah. Um... <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yeah! Of course! Oh. Mm. Uh-huh! For me... Uh, I'm sorry. around. <laughs> you piece of... So then... 
Yeah. As such, soon the doors to the dining. Okay then. You see what I mean? Good morning! Get ready to greet- Oh, that's- I wanted to let you know that new regulations- Yo, yo, yo! Come on! to think <laughs> Maybe... Listen! 
listen to me! What's your pro- Um... Well, then. Uh, um... As for me... <laughs> Fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Just a second! 
possible. Not possible. You son of a bitch! What? <laughs> Piece of shit! Don't make me repeat. <sighs> Isn't it wonderful? That's enough. Oh! Hm. No. What? It's because... It's a hard... Hm. Huh? <laughs> but, but... What? Um... Come on. I'm sorry. Stop fucking around! <laughs> Piece of shit! What? <laughs> you son of a- Just a sec! Piece of shit! Not possible. But... <laughs> Don't fuck with me! Maybe... <laughs> anyway...
Did you need something? This is fine.
Uh, I'm sorry. Thank. Good morning, everyone! Get ready! That's right. Let's um. yeah. 
true. Yo. Thank you. But...
<laughs> but
Thank you. I wonder about that. <laughs> I hope you are... Listen to me! Hey, damn...
Hey, damn it. Hey, damn it. What? You're corrupt! your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good, I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. You. You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't get the bed box fight. In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win, or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch, then bring it on. Uh, 
I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what? You hear me? Ain't that right? Without a doubt. Piece of shit. I see. Your problem.
scare. Okay, what? Stop being so. You go talk to him if you like. Can't. Announcement, school announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergence!
Indeed. Right. Goodbye. Certainly. What? Hmm. Could it be? Hmm. It's not like some occult mystery. Huh? Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Could it be? For serious. to hand them out. Hmm, <laughs> this has to 
on the door. Okay then. Hmm. Of course.
interesting. What the heck? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time... What? Damn. Hmm. Uh, what the? What? <laughs> So... Hmm. 
Naturally. <laughs> what? Stop talking. Let's go. Let's go. Very strange. I see. Can't hear you! What? 
That's fine. Don't make me repeat myself. What? Don't make... It's all clear now. I don't have time to... Please, I mean... Please! Very strange. Don't make me repeat. Yeah! Let's go. Such. That's fine. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. Won't allow it. Huh? Won't let Genesis... Other words, hmm. that's enough.
So in other words,
That's right. So in other words, in other words, Interesting. Let's go. <laughs> I don't have time to play with. Goodbye.
course. I'm sorry. However... Mm. Indeed. However... Well... So then... Goodbye. Are you planning to go ex- What? Because I can see a blue track jacket. Oh, you're right. Well, I'd better get go- <sighs> Yes, indeed.
of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where- Please go through the red door on the- <laughs> See you soon! Yo. Huh? Come on! What are you gonna do? Let's go. Come on! It's with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But, 
If you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone beside you. Okay. Let's talk about the mer- Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. No, it's wrong. Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? Found at the scene of the crime? It was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You... looked at her head wound? Yes! That's so creepy! If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. What? For real? Chihiro's killer is... The fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. Is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible! What? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on! There's just no proof for it! Hey, so, speaking of genocide, I don't know who that is! The culprit is Gen Case closed. Hey. Why? Well, I mean, there's just no proof for it. No, it's wrong. I might know one reason he... What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth, so let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Boob lust. Ah, uh, no. It's actually blood lust. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? I got it! Apparently, in every Genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher-ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because the culprit in this case is the real Genocide Jack. 
No fucking way! You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. What? Genocide Jack's true identity. You okay. okay, Toko has like a lot of- Is Toko Genocide another riddle? Is it because Genocide Jack has a split personality? Huh? I think I read that somewhere in the file, too. They thought that the suspect might have... What did they call it? Dissociative Identity Disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Ms. Fukawa is... Perfectly acceptable. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. I got it! You're talking about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... That's for sure. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Not to mention, once she regained, in other words, within her is one person. <laughs> so when Toko trapped her... The reason she locked herself in it was to keep her other personality. What? Toko was afraid. Afraid. <gasps> I do believe you. What she's trying to say isn't, how could No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave, she told me, um, she said, a murderous fiend lived, and that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a. <laughs> this is all a lie. You said you wouldn't tell anyone. What? You promised. You have only yourself to. This is the real world. <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you but in spite You said if I that's the only How many times do I have to but you weren't able to do it? You I, I tried But your efforts were useless. <laughs> well, the opening act is nearly finished. Uh, you Is it me you were hoping to see? Yes! yes you, what the heck? So you figured it out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? I'm the ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! What the fuck is this? Toko, what happened to you? Not Toko, that's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split personality. One of them happens to be a serial killer! You should turn a blind eye to one's fault! <laughs> so... intense! Like they say, sound and 
murderous mind, sound, and murderous body! <laughs> this one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> um, Miss Check, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you, I am the mastermind of all masterminds! Just kidding! Then, it's not true? Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid! And another thing, the police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless! I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town! Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! <laughs> this should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting! Very, very, very interesting! But sorry! As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit! Huh? But I cannot imagine. Anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you monster! this incident. The modus operandi matches completely. No, it's wrong! Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? Uh-oh! You well then, human guard! I murder with passion and conviction! I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee! This is no creation of mine! Let me rephrase that, in a way that maybe makes more sense. 
There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. I got it! For one, the cause of death is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Jihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, yes! That is remarkably different from the other murders. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce! Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? So, are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? I got it! Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangements! Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong! Big Mac? Are you referring to me? Listen up, Big Mac! There's actually one more difference! Huh? My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each Genocide Jack case! There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo! Bullseye bite on the money! What are you talking about? In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur! Lowly cur? I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious 
That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors. Who would go out of their way to use a fake stupid heavy dumbbell? Maybe you used the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Any scissors? I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high-class enemy of the entire world scissors! Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? She's fully equipped! That's right! So I can kill anywhere, anytime! Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong! You can't can you gutter dogs, all of you! Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot! <laughs> the rope's totally out of the question anyway! <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore! Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah! That's why we figured it had to be the real deal, and not some copycat killer or whatever. Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the genocide jack files before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was... ...because he wanted to pin the crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The adorable glasses man was behind it all! Oh, I'm on fire! Well, Biakia, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. The way you were acting what? I wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker. The victim was Chihiro. Nothing strange about... On the contrary. Okay, then. Go ahead. The victim was Chihiro, who was so of course I would suggest we check. There was no time for that. What's so strange? Was she taking me with you? So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before you found the body. Shoot! So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found But he was acting... Kihiro presented with the opportunity. That's unnatural! The victim was... No, it's wrong! I'll tell you what's so strange about that. 
because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girl's locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead, show us. What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think there is more. We just talked about the proof you're looking for. Oh? I've never seen that rope before in my life. No, that's wrong! Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say, that extension cord? What? An extension cord? Yucky! You've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time? Went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility! That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. He kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more. Sure. We really need to. I know. There's something that's good. that right. I killed her and the girls specifically. I. What about all. I got it! You say you. But are you sure about that? How did. What kind of question is that? She was found dead in. How could the scene of the. Well. I think it's in. Along with the rest. Oh. That was awfully specific. I believe... Hey! Don't just move on without... Come on, Mc... If there's any chance the murder took... I got it! The proof that she was killed some... More proof? The poster and the girl... A picture of a big boob supermodel. But don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girl- I bet those massive jugs of- Meanwhile, a poster of the super pop- Again, that- So you're saying- And there's one other thing- You know what I'm talking- You're referring to my pro- While I was in the girls' lock, but I noticed that-
I got it! The stain on the girl's lo- In fact, I f- That's definitely the- Then, does that- Why- To move the murder scene from one locker room- What? In other words, in the bloodstained poster and by doing this, the killer was able- I can certainly follow your- Huh? Why would they go through all that actually? And even bigger than how did Chihiro- Why? To get into the locker room that Chihiro's handbook, she had no way to get into- No, she did have a way! I highly that- Shut up! I'm telling you! Is it really possible? Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah! I got it! She must have packed her e handbook! She was the ultimate, I'm sure that would have been- Yeah, I don't- She used to think I was in the main- Huh? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course! No, it's wrong! No, I don't think Ch- Why not? Because Leon's hand- Oh! Well, I am struck silent by- Plus, isn't there a- Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. In other words, you could borrow a dead- Yup, yup, yup! Hit the- Of course, if it were broken- So then, she must have acted- You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up- a... So, if she didn't use Leon- Maybe Mr. Nayagi- It seems like there's no way she- Okay then! Hold on a sec. I agree with you, though. What the? You finally did. There's no way she could get in the boys' life. Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? What? What are you talking about? Well, to explain. Why don't we take a little break from the trial? Wait, 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 wait. Just don't worry. This'll make the whole trial. Huh? You don't. Well, all right then. Huh? For real? Now then. Oh, I have no doubt. Girls locker room? You've already searched this place top to bottom! I'd like you to examine the Be sure to examine the Examine. No way, no way, no way! It's probably It's not that I'm creeped out or very well. But but you're a girl! No, it's okay. So just leave What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is That's not it at all! Okay, I'm sorry, Chihiro. Be sure to check her entire... Her entire body? What? This... What is it? Not possible. It's not... This... Is what? Is a boy! Ah, I see. What? You're joking, right? I wouldn't. It's really. Chihiro. Hmm? Oh, what? You. Chihiro Fujisan? He was a. So that's what Kyoko. <laughs> now let's ride this wave! Ahem. I do a pot. We've all just learned of the shop. Yes, well. I don't. And because the victim was male, he Assuming his handbook did, in fact... Of course his handbook said he was a boy! So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boy's locker room, and was then the killer could have easily used... So, Chihiro real? I still don't understand the mode. Well... I knew he felt a little... off. There was a certain incongru- This is the most titillating si- So now everything- Okay, well, connected or- <laughs> ah. What about you, Makoto? Well, without a doubt, Byakui is the one that made you hero, but... I think he might not actually- What? But aren't he just seems to be too... The way he's acting? And you think that might be because- Plus, the evidence he left behind was he consciously chose to use the extension cord. Knowing it could connect at least... And Byakuya. When you found out- And then again, when you found out Chihiro, if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? It's fine. I get- Mark it as- He's right. 
I am. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Are you fucking with us? No, I am not effing with you right now. But I find it very. Go ahead. Find it very hard to. If you're really telling the truth. My reasons hardly. Now then. Well. You're seriously gonna keep. No, I'm with Makoto because if we're wrong, that's true. Damn straight. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course not. Anyway. Let That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and... I got it! Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing. But did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Shoot! Isn't there a single well? Could it nobody get I'm sure if someone saw the perhaps someone saw the victim. Yeah. It's over. It's you wanna know who saw the vic the killer! And only the killer! No, it's wrong! I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just- It was last night. I saw him stuffing a track and then I- A track jacket and a double- It seems likely that the culprit- And that is when he said- Hero, but why would he be in a hurry? So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way, but Hina and I had invited him to exercise, probably because he was afraid you find which means that conversely, he must be not so that he was willing. <laughs> oh, the point is, whoever he met up with is but knowing what we know. No, you already, huh? You know who the is. Who is it? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag. Focus on the details of these items. Are you sure? You really think we can... What? You want to track even if we have the equipment for that? As was noted, the evidence is already gone. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences. Easy for you to... But fine. The bag was... All the bags in there are... Well, if I remember right, you think there might be some... Perhaps. Let's ex... First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exit, so next we have to ask. Why did you choose the specific track? What do you mean, the specific- I got it! It, it matched the one that comes- So, what? The killer was wearing the same blue track. No, it's wrong! Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... She never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you... you just... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was... blue? And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? 
The only one I told about any of this was you. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was... ...is if he saw Terry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Terry? Are you talking about Jahiro? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony... When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew he did it, to put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. There was a certain turning point. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo. You only called guys, dude. And after he was killed, you... Once I picked up on that, it occurred to you. Are you a witch? She's a witch! No. I'm not the fright... Not nearly as frightful at... Yeah. Mondo, did you really... I... I didn't kill you been all over me. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn... Yeah! You would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning... That was fast. Well, this does present... <laughs> That's what my little... Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Really? Actually, you know... Jeez, is your comp... Um... It happens to be an e... We know Chihiro's hand for a fact. For a fact, I was totally sure I'd fa- But it must hold some coil. That's what I would- I imagine the culprit broke. That's odd. I didn't- You're right. They're totally waterproof. And yet, this one does appear to be for all your confidence. <laughs> How precise- I got it! You already told us before that the- Yeah! And, uh, sure, me- But if the handbook is supposed to- Then we can only assume that you know what the weakness is. Huh? I think it's a necessary piece of info- But if I tell- Just tell us already! Huh? Oh well. Then allow me to make a special- When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally- I slip and knew it! You knew it? Yeah! Because I found the hand the temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. It's because as your sweat, if the hot air of the sauna were that layer of air would get blown away. So when you're in a sauna, make interesting. That is a mere trifling. Anyway, if then the killer must have been meaning the culprit some. But how'd they find out? Indeed. What if they found out? What do you mean? What if the killer took their own handbook into the? They'd realize it was broken, of course. And once they had Chihiro... I won't say it's not. I don't know of anyone who took. I might know someone who did. Whoa! I think the one who may have taken. <laughs> Here's my 
my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest. And for the contest, but little did he realize, he'd... And when it was all over... No, no, wait, I don't accept this! Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's test if what he said you broke your own. The handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken at first. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Makoto was wrong! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's test if what he said you broke your own. In other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Look! <laughs> Makoto was wrong! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's test if what he said you broke your own. In other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Shoot! Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he said you broke your own, in other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! No, that's wrong! Mondo, the handbook you have right now, is it really your- The fuck is that? The broken handbook that isn't that one- What the heck are you talking- What I mean is, I, I think you took Leon's hand after all. Monokuma- That's right! The- So then, the which would mean that the- But doesn't that violate the school- Well, there is a rule about- It's kind of a great area, I- As such, I- Well, Mondo, I'm happy to- ad Son of a bitch! What's wrong, bro? You are wrong! Everything you just said- Okay, then why don't we- That way, every-
exactly what happened. First, let's take a look back to before the incident. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Simple, because she was really a he, which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro, and attacked him. And that's where the bloodstains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Then remove and finally care a girl's handbook was never this alone doesn't prove. After all, Sayat using one of those, a boy. And that's exactly with the carpet and the poster they They changed the layout of the boys and group. That could have been the end of Byakuya discovered the body and decided. So, uh, he went and grabbed the extension cord. He used the cord to string. Then, Yuki wanted to create the. And around the same time that the killer, having already despair, they plan to destroy the... And just as the killer expected, somehow, the killer... And the reason they knew that is... And that's how it all played... Isn't that right, Mondo Arata? some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. 
You won't listen! I refuse to vote! Show me some evidence! You're wrong! I won't listen! I refute you! False! Show me some evidence! I won't listen! You're corrupt! I refuse to vote! I refute you! False! You're corrupt! Show me some evidence! I won't listen! Show me some evidence! This should prove it! If my thinking so far is right, Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with real. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I killed him. I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... Give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Who will you elect as the Black? Will you make the right choice? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Sorry. What? What is this? Now then. Actually. Wait, wait. 
weak, 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 weak. Sorry. But, but... That's right. I want to change. Yeah, that's right. I just... 
Don't fuck with me! to change. You piece of... What? What? Huh? What? No! Damn you! I... I... Yeah, that's right. You son of a bitch! I... I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. promise we made from one man to another.
Things really get more fear and despair, but I must admit, I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make, well, no big, nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's whatever. As long as you don't want to know my... Oh, my, my. I know I super denied ultra and nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs>
I know I shouldn't cry. Hmm. 